Hello students, today in this video we are going to conduct an experiment in which I will demonstrate you the concept of total internal reflection which is part of your 12th class physics, uh, a chapter named Ray Optics or Geometrical Optics. What is the concept? Let me remind you. In total internal reflection, when light is incident from a denser medium to rarer medium, here we have taken denser medium as water, rarer medium as air, obviously this air. So when the light is incident from denser medium to rarer medium, then if angle of incidence is less than critical angle, then what happens at this boundary is light gets partially reflected and partially refracted. But when the angle of incidence is greater than critical angle, then total internal reflection happens. That means 100% of the light is reflected back into the denser medium. So let's demonstrate this. I am going to start with small angle of incidence so that we can see partial reflection and refraction. What will happen in partial reflection is when light comes to this boundary, it will get partially reflected and partially refracted. That means in the reflected light, you will see that intensity decreases because some energy escapes from the surface. Let's start. Right now angle of incidence is small. Okay, in this angle of incidence is small so we can see when the light is reflected from this boundary intensity decreases because some of the energy escapes from the boundary. But when I increase angle of incidence at a certain point you will see that intensity of light inside the water after reflection does not decrease. In fact it continues to be same as previous intensity. So when I increase the angle of incidence you see that light intensity does not decrease as it gets reflected from the surface. This is because total internal reflection has started happening. So this is the concept of total internal reflection in practical in front of you.